could stand here and say more or less what other people are going to say about the effect of these 15 minute neighbourhoods, soon to become digital ID facial recognition zones. Let's say my friend lives in zone 3 and I'm in zone 1. If, for example, I went to my friend's house in zone 3, my parents normally come and pick me up in, it, in their car. It only takes 10 minutes. So does that mean that they would have to go round the ring road and back into town again? If my mum or dad had to drive round the ring road, it would take 30 minutes, causing much more pollution and leaving a much bigger carbon footprint. They will say, you can walk home. Would that be safe for me to walk home? Me as a 12 year old walking home in the dark alone. Is that really going to be safe? Then they will say, oh, don't worry about that. We've already thought of that. You'll be safe. We will have a thousand cameras on the streets following you and tracking you all the way home. Oh, and just remember, it's for your safety. What? Are you serious? Do you really think I want to be watched every second of the day? Are you serious? Thousands of cameras tracking my every move until I get home. At this point, I have to ask, is my safety that important to me that I want to be followed by cameras all the way home? Or do I prefer to have freedom than privacy? For your information, I still wouldn't feel safe. No amount of cameras is going to stop someone who wants to attack me. I want to be safe, but not to the extent that I am prepared to give up my freedom and my privacy to have it. As a 12 year old, I am really concerned about my future. And to Klaus Schwab, I say this. How dare you! <laughs> How dare you steal my childhood and my future! And the future of all children by enslaving us in your crazy digital surveillance prison! We all know where this is leading. These are the first steps of a dystopian reality called 15 minute neighbourhoods. From a small seed, a huge tree can grow. Climate change is being used to control us, to nudge us in the direction the greedy people want us to go. The truth is that the greedy people want total control over everything we do, everything we think and everything we say. Our government has been hijacked by greedy and selfish imposters posing as politicians. They believe they are better than us and masters over us. And until this problem is effectively dealt with, the tyranny will continue. Thank you.